بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کنٹینگ وتھ دی ٹاپکس آف جنرل ٹاکسیکالوجی دس از دی فورتھ لیکچر اینڈ ان دس لیکچر آئی بی ڈسکسنگ روٹ آف ایڈمنسٹریشن آف پوائسنس اینڈ ویل نو واٹ آر ویریس روٹس آف ایڈمنسٹریشن دی روٹس آف ایڈمنسٹریشن آر ڈفرینٹ اینڈ دے آر بیسیکلی اینٹرل روٹس they are divided into enteral and parenteral then inhalation route then external application of various chemical then installation into various uh, uh, routes then administration of certain drugs into orifices directly so these are various routes of administration of certain drugs or poisons now talking about the enteral roots the enteral root it include all the roots which involves absorption from the gastrointestinal tract mucosa and starting from the oral cavity sublingual or rectal so from these places and similarly the gastrointestinal tract mucosa the drugs and the poison get absorbed then about the parenteral roots they are uh, many they can be uh, into uh, parenteral roots mean the administration elsewhere in the body other than the mouth and the alimentary tract it can be intramuscular it can be intravenous it can be subcutaneous it can be any uh, intradermal so these are various routes of with the help of injection subcutaneous intramuscular intravenous and intra arterial then in uh, intrathecal intraperitoneal intra amniotic so amongst uh, uh, these parenteral roots the intravenous route is the fastest iv is the fastest route directly injecting into the vein then inhalation route when the drugs are inhaled and this inhalation the absorption is by the lungs and the pulmonary toxicity is due to rich blood supply of the lungs and th- there is a very thin partition between the air and the blood in alveoli uh, 10 micron 10 micrometer which is uh, very thin and the alveoli has a large surface area 50 to 100 meter square and that makes it a favorable route so inhalation is also a fastest route of entry for the drugs and chemicals which gets absorbed from the mucous membrane as the alveolar membrane offer much broader surface and offers a large area for the absorption then the external application this application is to the skin the percutaneous absorption occurs through the skin to the systemic circulation and by sebaceous sweat and other hair follicles they get absorbed then installation of drugs into uh, ear and eyes this is installation the installation to the eyes to the ears for example the conjunctival sac having thin mucous membrane allows directly absorption of the blood so besides the drug can enter into the pharynx also through the laser lacrimal duct and hence it gets absorbed from the enteral root then the administration into the orifices that means the rectum the vagina and the nose the mucous membrane of these organs 
it is very thin and the drugs can be absorbed. And this allows a rapid transfer of chemicals from mucus, mucosa to the blood like the rectal suppository which is the commonest example. Then similarly the nasal mucous membrane allows rapid absorption of the drugs and the chemicals. So these are various routes of administration. Thank you very much for your uh, 